If you did not ask for something specifically with your motion, the judge will probably not let you argue that issue at this hearing. That can be very hard for people to understand. It may be something that you completely forgot about, but you cannot argue it today. Second, it's important to know what you want to be able to tell the judge, which is what you want and why. We've seen people go before a judge and they say they want one parent to see the children sometimes. But when the judge asks for a proposed plan, they're not prepared with anything more than just just not too often. If you say you need support and the judge asks you how much support do you need, you need to be prepared with a number. You need to have a detailed proposal so the judge can order if he or she agrees to that argument. It's so important to understand what a judge needs to hear in order to decide in your favor. We've seen people ask for things very reasonable, but then the other side starts lying or talking about things. At the end of the day, those don't matter to the judge. However, these things are often difficult to hear and all too often the person with the request will blow their shot in court because they allow those lies that the other side is blowing out to get to them emotionally rather than solely sticking to the facts. The judge only needs to hear the facts. Suddenly this case is going to become a circus where both sides just start making accusations against each other and the judge stops listening. Don't let your emotions and feelings feel like you have to defend yourself because you may ruin the outcome. Sometimes the best response is a simple, I don't agree with everything that was said. Simplicity often will get you the best result.